Welcome back. Today is day seven on Going Carnivore. And I did my wake up weigh in another one half kilogram down. Now, obviously, I've got a lot of water weight. I got a lot of this starting weight. But another half kilogram. <coughs> I'm down to 162.3. I was 162.8. I'm sure there's going to be days where I fail. But I'm surprised because I ate a massive flank steak last night that Noy got the market, which was very good. And I'm in the middle of doing the brisket that we purchased, Australian imported brisket from Macro. We sous vide it for 60 plus hours at 66 degrees Celsius. And then we put in a cold water bath for two hours to take the heat out of it. And then I did a little video, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, where I cut it open before finishing. And I'll go on with that video. But I've got a more important thing to tell you today. Now, I have type 2 diabetes. That's all there is to it. But that's curable. It's very hard to do, but it's curable. I've been keeping track of my blood sugar. On a, every couple of weeks, I, I don't do it daily. If I look back at my logs, and my logs showed my blood sugar at, sometimes it was 230, 250. 175. The last time I did it, it was 360 on my blood sugar. That was the last time I took my blood sugar. 360. I took my blood sugar this morning. After I went to the pool and got some exercise, came back, let my cortisol level get down. I'm just now having my coffee. It's been at least... Uh, Probably three hours since I woke up, and I just now took my first sip of coffee. But I tested my blood sugar. 360 last time. 128. 128 down from 360. And only seven days on zero sugars, zero carbs. All carnivore, steak, eggs, cheese, butters, bacon, all carnivore. Only seven days. Now, I'm not saying that I started out seven days ago, it was 360. But a month ago it was, it was on 12-13 Today is January 27, so just 45 days ago it was 360, but seven days on this, 128 and feeling great. Now don't go anywhere because I'm going to be right back after I finish this brisket, after sous vide it for nearly three days at 66 degrees centigrade with nothing on it but a little bit of rub, a little bit of brisket rub, which is nothing more than salt and pepper and garlic powder, I guess, on the outside. But I did take a bite of it dead cold, and it was very, very tender and very tasty, even dead cold. I mean, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, we cooked the brisket for about 50 hours at 66 degrees Celsius. Then took the brisket out, 
put in a bath of cold water for a couple hours, let the internal temperature come down on the inside to let the meat rest. Now it hasn't been seared or anything like that. And we've got this bag that we need to get out of the way without making too big a mess. Putting a sink over here. We got the meat in focus. Hey, yeah. I'm not a professional at this. I want to see what the inside of the meat looks like. Whether or not we need to go back on cutting it or not. So now, let's look. Let's go to the fat part. This is the pointy part of the brisket. And let's just square off this end and see what we got. Wow. It looks perfect. It's nice and pink. Of course, we haven't seared it. And that's the next step. But even without searing it, I can't help but to try. Even cold, I'm going to try. So, turn, frame me in it. Okay, I can't help it. Mmm. Very meaty, very tender. Easy to chew. Now we're gonna finish this off probably on the skillet. Cause I think that's all that we really need. That's all folks.